Welcome back. Problem 5-36. So statement is the drive shaft of motor is made up of material having allowable shearing stress is 75 megapascal. If outer diameter of tubular shaft is 20 millimeter and the wall thickness is 2.5 millimeter, determine the maximum allowable power that can be supplied to the motor when the shaft is operating at angular velocity of 1500 revolution per minute. So this is the motor and this is the shaft which is now given as tubular clear having outer diameter is 20 millimeter and thickness is 2.5 millimeter the allowable shearing stress is 75 megapascal and this shaft is rotating with angular velocity of 1500 revolution per minute so you have to find the maximum level power of this shaft so let's start with the solution as we know that power is equal to torque into um, uh, angular velocity clear so what we will do is that uh, we will find the this torque and this torque is equal to p divided by w which is angular velocity so angular velocity which is given as 1500 revolution per minute so we will first convert it into radian per second so 1500 into one revolution is two pi radian so i will write two pi radian and divide by one minute is equal to 60 second so when you solve this you will get omega is equal to 50 into pi radian unit will be radian per second now we will get this t is equal to p divided by omega is 50 so 50 multiplied by pi that is t clear and since it is given that this shaft is tubular in section so let uh, this diameter is outer diameter clear which is d naught there and we have another circle for hollow and this is this circle this is d naught and this is thickness t this is thickness t so we have uh, di di is not known so what we will do we know that d naught is equal to let this inner diameter is small d uh, di this diameter is di so d naught is equal to uh, di plus two times of t you can check it this is d di this is t plus this is t which is equal to d naught so we are interested to find out di so di is equal to d naught minus two times of thickness so d naught is 20 millimeter minus two times thickness is 2.5 so 2.5 into 2 is 5 so 20 minus 5 is 15 millimeter so this is your di now we will find c naught c naught is equal to radius of outer uh, of hollow shaft outer radius of hollow shaft which is equal to d naught divided by 2 so 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10 millimeter and this 10 millimeter c naught will be in term of meter will be equal to 0 0.01 meter so this is c naught we will find c i inner radius which is equal to inner diameter divided by 2 so 15 divided by 2 is equal to 12.5 uh, sorry 7.5 millimeter and in meter it is equal to 0 0.0075 meter now you have both ci and um, c naught and ci so we know that uh, allowable sharing stress allowable sharing stress is equal to torque into c divided by j 
so we will find the j for pol polar moment of inertia of this hollow shaft so this j for the hollow shaft is pi by 2 into c naught power 4 minus c i power 4 so just put the value pi by 2 c naught is 0 0.01 power 4 minus c out in inner is 0 0.0075 power 4 clear so when you solve you will get j is equal to 10.7379 into 10 is power minus 9 meter power 4 now this is the j clear and c will what will be c so c is the distance from center to the outermost which is equal to c naught so c naught is 0 0.01 meter okay so now you have j you have c you have t which is this one so you just put the value t tie allowable is given as 75 megapascal so i will write 75 into 10 raised to power 6 is equal to torque which is equal to p divided by 50 into pi clear and c is 0 0.01 divided by j is 10.7379 into 10 raised to power minus 9 clear so 75 into 10 raised to power 6 multiply by 10.7379 into 10 to the power minus 9 multiply by 50 into pi divide by 0 0.01 will give you p and when you calculate this you will get power is equal to 12650.25 watt or simply you can see power maximum power is 12.7 kilowatt and this was all about this problem 5-36 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.